Tambay Matson joins us here on The Breakdown, and we're going to look deep into a couple of things, but one in particular. We talked about efficiencies of the All Blacks going in test matches. Pretty critical coming in to this weekend. The last three years painted a picture about some of the trends the All Blacks were going through. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the key thing we, we took into this year was we're trending downwards. And one of the things we talked about is, can we change that um, moving forward? Um, just with regard to the efficiencies, this is how likely you are to score points, or can you score points when you're inside the opposition red zone, inside their 22? And at this level of the game, we've seen over the last four or five weeks, taking those few opportunities is really critical, and we didn't last time we played and against Argentina. And that was something we've been very, very good at, right? But the fact over the last yeah. three years we'd started to trend down, if we look at this year's Tri-Nations, the five games that we have played, we look at where we got to, and we've made some progress. Absolutely. And you can see that... Um, a draw in the first game, second game we win reasonably well, third game record, ski, uh, record score, you can see that the red zone efficiency was unbelievable. But as you can see from the trend line, we're going back down again. Yeah, and you look at that, just scoring one out of 10% of the time when yeah. you get in the opposition, 22. So critical, and so much of that about, though, in recent weeks, the defence has changed. Yeah. The fact they're under so much more pressure. And this here is unheard of, right? 14 people on their feet, one on the ground, no one in the backfield. This is about 60 minutes into the game. This is a team that's got their defensive rhythm. So they're just lining up and they just keep coming like a blue wave. And on the back of that, it felt like we had no options and we couldn't penetrate. But there are options here. There is space to go yeah. to, but then it comes down to accuracy, the ability to find the space. And we just watch here. They're able to come forward, but you have to be able to kick it through and kick it effectively. The space is gone, hence we make an error. Yeah. And so the decision is good there. You talk about the accuracy and being able to um, do it at the right moment and probably the time of the game, 60 minutes. Same option taking here, though. We talked about the distributor being available, the man at the back of the field. No one there, so no threat. What does that mean the defence can do? Well, they can tee off, and they did it from minute one till minute 80. Great chop tackling. So wherever the contact point is, where the rock, rock point was. And you can just see here, same thing here. 14 on their feet, one on the ground, and they just that blue wave just kept coming forward all day. This is incredible for me, the fact you're talking about options. All of a sudden, we have a, a, a player in the backfield. Just watch this breakdown here, though. Tackle was made, they go and contest. All of a sudden, there isn't one man from the Puma side on the ground. We've got five in that ruck. They've got 15 on their feet, and we wondered why we felt like we couldn't get through, and it looked like we were... Uh, one dimensional was some of the chat we had behind the, um, after the game. So. And then all of a sudden, the congestion right in and around the ball, the pressure and their ability to regroup. Once again, no one commits to the breakdown. You talk about efficiency this weekend. If we get opportunities, how do we do it better? Well, they did a really good job at the line-out. So probably defensive line-out-wise, they had the Wallabies in trouble, they had us in trouble. So us, those few opportunities we get, in particular in the red zone, we have to take them. 10% won't be enough. Um, and we'll just see. Will they bring that blue wall without um, the variation um, given from us. We are going to spend a lot more time talking about it in the war room. You go to YouTube, you check it out, and we'll give you all the detail in particular about how the game has changed, the defence, and some other options available. That variation we're talking about for the All Blacks, that's on YouTube. Make sure you check it out. So, guys, we look at that. JK, Mills, I'll start with you, JK. You've seen the information there. Reality is, does that mean, given what we know we are going to face, how does that change the selection debate? Well, I think it changes the selection debate around um, how we're going to change our game. I think Mills, you know, there's a couple of spaces I see. Obviously, the kicking game we've spoken about, but also the pick and go. Get back to some of your, you know, your Canterbury ways, just pick and go, because you've got to start drawing some of those guys in to get some space. The other thing for me is a little bit more expansive early. Run the big men so they don't, you know, run them. But is it personnel mills? Do we make selection changes? Do we see uh, do we see Hoskins Satutu right from the start? Do we see Akira Yuwani at blindside flank? Are there players that you'd like to see introduced into this combination? I'd like to see a bit of, a bit of X Factor out there. I, I, I think you'd give someone like a uh, uh, you know, Ioana, Ioana is sort of an opportunity out, out in the centres. In the centres? Just to free things up in the centres, exactly. But what that, what you guys have also demonstrated is the fact, you know, if you don't do your job right, and they often mm. talk about that, you've got to do your job from the time you catch that ball. If you get isolated, then everything else, you know, compounds. You know, when you don't get an efficient sort of clean-out, then you have to send more guys in, which in effect puts more people on, on their feet. So I think when the All Blacks look at our, at our game and sort of dissect it, they'll say... 
there's a lot of things that we didn't do. We got ISO, no footwork in, 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 with ball in hand. The, the, the clean out, whether it's inside or outside, didn't do an efficient job, which meant send someone else. So how can you play an expensive game when someone else is doing someone else's job? And that, that's, that's the issue that they, they had in that first game. So you think it's game plan? And put not personnel? Well, I think it's a little bit, Tabs. I was going to ask you, so we saw Hoskins go on and he's that dynamic off, off the base of the scrum. I mean, there's a lot of what's been happening to us about not getting over the advantage line. So if you're looking at the, at the data, you go, we need to actually win the advantage with things like Mills said, stepping, yeah. but also Hoskins just getting off the base of the scrum, and he made sort of 20 yards. Well, I mean, he, nearly, he nearly created a, a trial opportunity in the, um, against Argentina that we didn't execute on. So, And one of the things he brings to the game is his, is his small passing game. So oh, I think a key part of it, I don't think it's selection, I think it's about the variation early. And I know we talked about running the ball, but they've got a kick. This is the first time we've lost a kick battle. Mm. Um, and in particular, the attacking kicks along the ground make the wingers um, have to turn around and go back. Um, and do that early. Are there positionals uh, that may be contestable? The fact you look, where do they start Dane Coles or Cody Taylor? Uh, the impact off the bench, does TJ Piranara come back into the mix and, and place of Brad Webber? I mean, for me, JK, there are options the All Blacks have. Sevi Reese has not been seen a lot of. What are they going to... Are they going to continue with Richie Moanga and Bowden Barrett? Is that the combination you see them going with, given the success they had just a couple of weeks ago against mm. the Wallabies? The, the, I, do, I think they're going to do that. I think what I'd like to see, though, is what they were doing during the World Cup, Mills, and what they've done in, early in the season, is if you're going to bring Wong off, then you put Barrett to first five for the last 20 minutes, you know, rather than what they did the other day, which is sort of move it round a bit. Well, I, I think the kicking the game... Pardon? Damien McKenzie ended up in the wing. Well, the yeah. He's a fullback, right? Exactly. So what do you do with the kicking game? I mean, that's the most important thing for me. I think there'll be a lot more pick and go. So you, you, you'll be looking at some hard ball carriers with feet. So I think that does bring Hoskins into it. And what are you going to do about pick and go? So what do you do in the front row? Um, and then after that, you know, moanga has got to be kicking early, otherwise you need to make that change yeah. early in the second half. Hansen never was scared to put someone on one minute after half-time if he didn't think things were working. Tabs, I did some maths to you before the show. There's probably only about 35 more test matches the All Blacks will play before yeah. the Rugby World Cup, right? That's how long you've got to prepare some of those players. The fact we've missed a full season, Tabs, reality is, bang, this means that all of a sudden this selection panel, how far in the future do they have to look? Are they, or are they in the win-now mentality? Yeah. Well, the, the conundrum for the All Blacks is you've got to build for the future, but you need to win on Saturdays. And so <laughs> they've, got, they've, got this, they've got this conundrum around they've got a team that's got a lot of players that haven't played 50 test matches. The World Cup's 35 test matches away. Are you going to, are you going to create cohesion and team um, dynamics or are you going to look for winning against the Argentinians? Well, look, I think you, you look, to look for the future. 35 test matches is a lot, a lot of test matches. And I think you look for the, for, for the future. Don't worry about the win. Well, we will win. <laughs> we, we, will win. Here, we will win. We will win. You're, said you're, not, you're obviously not coaching the side. That's <laughs> 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 Run it, boys. Run it. Don't worry about the win. <laughs> uh, we've got 